we want now to make um, a rapid review about the changes during second week of pregnancy and third week of pregnancy. Uh, we will start first by this structural cyst. Uh, blastocyst is formed of inner cell mass. Uh, we must know that this inner cell mass will form the embryo. I mean head and neck and uh, upper limb and lower limb formed from this inner cell mass. Uh, and also there is a cavity inside this blastocyst called blastocyl. Uh, surrounding the inner cell mass and the blastocyl there is trophoblast and sensitive trophoblast. Um, this inner cell mass will form the, bi the bilaminar the bilaminar embryonic disc. The bilaminar embryonic disc is formed of two layers, epiblast and hypoblast. If we want to know how this bilaminar embryonic disc look like, like this. Two layers, epiblast and hypoblast, like this. We are this epiplast and hypoplast. I want to tell you something. Um, when the disc formed of two layers, we are now in the second week of pregnancy. If three layers, we are in the third week of pregnancy. So the embryo disc now is formed of two layers, epiplast and hypoplast. So this is the second, the second week of pregnancy. Okay. The inner cell mass will form the bilaminar embryonic disc. This bilaminar disc formed of epiblast and hypoblast. Um, this cavity is called amniotic cavity and this cavity is called primary yolk sac. How this cavity is formed? Fluids is collected here between the inner cell mass cells here. These fluids will form the amniotic cavity and this blastocyl will be the primary yolk sac. Um, the epiblast will form a new layer of cells like this. So this layer of cells formed from epiblast here. This called amnioblast. And the hypoplast will form another layer here. This layer is called exosylamic membrane. So the amniotic cavity, now the floor of amniotic cavity is formed by epiblast and the roof is formed by amnioblast and trophoblast. Also, you must remember that this is a layer of trophoblast, cytotrophoblast and sensitio. Okay. And hypoblast form another layer called exosylamic membrane. And this is a primary, the primary yolk sac. So the primary yolk sac, the roof of primary yolk sac is formed by hypoblast and the surrounding floor is formed by exosylamic membrane. We must not also know that um, this end is called the cephalic end of the embryonic disc and this is the caudal end of the embryonic disc. I mean, the head of the embryo will form it at this side and the pelvic region at this side. This is called caudal and this is called cephalic or sometimes we call it cephalic, okay? The epiplast will form another layer of cells here, loose layer of cells here called mesoderm. This is the first time we hear about the mesoderm and the development of the embryo. So this is a primary mesoderm, primary mesoderm. Also, I want to tell you something, the embryonic disc will form the head, the neck, the upper, the lower, the abdomen, the th thorax. Okay, so this embryonic disc will form the whole embryo. Okay, this embryonic disc. Uh, this, med this mesoderm outside the embryonic disc. So we call this mesoderm here is extra embryonic mesoderm. Why extra embryonic? Because this is the embryo. This is the embryo now. So this mesoderm outside this embryo. So we call this extra embryonic mesoderm. Or because this is the first mesoderm appear in the embryonic life, we call this primary mesoderm. How this primary mesoderm is formed? By the embryonic disc. The embryonic disc, we have epiblast 
and hyoblast. The AB blast will form these cells of primary mesoderm outside the embryo or the extra embryonic mesoderm. We still have here, this is the amniotic cavity, this is the primary sac. The new event here is appearance of mesoderm. So this is amnioblast and this is the exosalamic membrane. What, is, what happened? Remember, two layers, we are in the second week of pregnancy, okay? So all these changes occur in the second week of pregnancy. After this, the primary mesoderm or extra embryonic mesoderm show small vesicles like this. These vesicles will form a cavity, you see like this, surrounding this embryo. So this is these vesicles appear in the primary mesoderm or the cells of the primary mesoderm or extra embryonic mesoderm. All these cells unit together forming one cavity. Cavity here means coelom or seal. So if you remember this is blastocele cavity, the cavity of blastocyst. And this is coelom. Where is the embryo? This is the embryo. This is the cephalic end of the embryo and this is caudal end of the embryo. And this is amniotic cavity and here is the primary yolk sac. Okay? The vesicles form this coelom, the extra embryonic coelom. Why extra embryonic? Because this is extra embryonic mesoderm, this is the embryo. This cavity will be outside the embryo. So this cavity is called extra embryonic coelom. When the extra embryonic coelom is formed like this, it divides the primary mesoderm or extra embryonic mesoderm into layer close to the embryo, another layer close to the, the trophoblast, and a part of mesoderm not containing this coelom. So the primary mesoderm after appearance of extra embryonic coelom is divided into visceral layer and somatic layer and this part not containing the coelom called connecting stock. Why? Because this stock will connect the trophoblast with the embryo. But uh, now there is a small problem. This connecting stock now outside away from this embryo. So what will happen after this? So now this step, what happened? The coelom divides the mesoderm into somatic layer, a, a visceral layer close to the embryo, and somatic layer close to the trophoblast and connecting stock. After this, see what happened? The connecting stock will be shifted. So the connecting stock shifted to the co to, toward the caudal end of the embryo. Why? Because the uh, uterine blood vessels at this side. So nutrition of the embryonic disc become more easy. Uh, because before here, the embryonic, uh, the extra embryonic coelom interfere with this nutrition. So the connecting stalk shifted to the caudal end or toward the caudal end of the embryo. So the nutrient material become more easy to reach the caudal end of the embryonic disc. We must remember this is the amniotic cavity. This is the yolk sac here and the embryonic disc, this called cephalic end and this called the caudal end of the embryonic disc. The connecting stock now at the caudal end of the embryonic disc. These changes occur in the second week of pregnancy. Now this bilaminar embryonic disc will be trilaminar or transformed into trilaminar embryonic disc. How the bilaminar embryonic disc transformed into trilaminar embryonic disc? All these changes during second week of pregnancy. You remember the embryonic disc during second week of pregnancy is called the bilaminar embryonic disc. Two layers, epiblast and hypoblast. But after this, this bilaminar transformed into trilaminar by process called gastrulation. Now we are talking about gastrulation.
we will talk about this we will take this disc outside the embryonic vesicle like this this epiblast and this hypoblast we want to see what how epiblast and hypoblast transform it into ectoderm and mesoderm and endoderm by process called gastrulation this is the epiblast this is the hypoblast and amniotic cavity is here and this is the yolk sac epiblast remember this epiblast is the source of the three layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm how epiblast will form a second layer here down like this called the mesoblast so the source of mesoblast is epiblast this push hypoblast down like this so the embryonic disc become three layers now epiblast mesoblast and hypoblast after this the hypoblast disappear so the disc become now formed of epiblast and mesoblast the mesoblast will form another layer called endoderm here this is the endoderm the remaining cells of mesoblast will be mesoderm remember this is the second mesoderm this is the primary mesoderm outside the embryo okay this is the second mesoderm appear now inside the embryo okay so we call this secondary mesoderm or intra embryonic mesoderm so the epiblast will form mesoblast okay the mesoblast push down this hypoblast disappearance of hypoblast so the disc now formed of epiblast and mesoblast the mesoblast will form a third layer called endoderm the remaining cells of mesoblast will be mesoderm but secondary mesoderm or inside the embryo intra embryonic mesoderm and the epiblast change its name and become ectoderm so epiblast will form mesoblast mesoblast will form endoderm the remaining mesoblast will be mesoderm the epiblast change its name become ectoderm so the epiblast is the source of the three embryonic layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm so this process of transformation of bilaminar embryonic disc into trilaminar disc with, is called gastrulation okay so how the epiblast form this mesoblast we must see this this is the embryonic disc now we again this during second week of pregnancy epiblast hypoblast nothing in between okay this bilaminar disc we are now in the second week of pregnancy uh, this is the cephalic end of the embryo and this is the caudal end here cephalic and caudal at the caudal end of the embryo the epiblast will form thickening here you see like this called primitive streak so the primitive streak is thickening of epiblast here at the caudal side of the embryo like this uh, or the caudal end of the embryo if we make a section like this in the embryo and we look from here so this is the epiblast and this is a hypoblast and this is a primitive streak so the primitive streak is formed from epiblast okay the primitive streak will the cells of the primitive streak will form the mesoblastic cells here that push the hypoblast down so the disc will be epiblast hypoblast and epiblast mesoblast and hypoblast so the, so the source of the um, uh, mesoblastic cells is a primitive streak so this primitive streak will form the mesoblast so this is epiblast and the mesoblast and the hypoblast and the remaining cells of mesoblast will form the secondary mesoderm the migration of the cells from the primitive streak the primitive streak is at the caudal end of the embryo so the cells migrate from the caudal end to the cephalic end of the of the embryo so the source of intra embryonic mesoderm is the, is the primitive the primitive streak 
After this, the primitive streak uh, become diminished in size after this. If we see like this here, become diminished in size, diminished, diminished, and form only small group of cells at the caudal end of the embryo or disappear completely. Okay, this is the fate of the primitive streak. After this, we must see the shape of the embryonic disc if we, when we take a section in the disc like this. Here. This is the, the ectoderm now, here. This is the endoderm. And inside here, this is the intra-embryonic mesoderm, here. This is a primitive streak. And on the cephalic end of the primitive streak, something, some swelling here, called primitive node or not like this or Hansen's node we must notice that this ectoderm this is ectoderm and this is endoderm the ectoderm in direct contact with endoderm at two ends here this is at the cephalic end of the embryo and at the, at the caudal end of the embryo at the cephalic end, we call this oropharyngeal membrane. We, this is the cephalic end. We, here we have head and neck. So this future mouth will be formed in this side. So we call this oropharyngeal membrane. And at, at the caudal end of the embryo, the ectoderm in direct contact with endoderm forming a membrane called cloacal membrane. Also, we must note that this intraembryonic mesoderm now in contact with the extraembryonic mesoderm. Remember, this is the extraembryonic serum. Okay, this is the amniotic cavity, and this now become the secondary yolk sac. What is the difference between primary yolk sac and secondary yolk sac? Here, when the roof of the yolk sac is hypoplast. This is called primary yolk sac. Okay. So primary yolk sac during second week of pregnancy. And when the roof of the the roof of the secondary of the yolk sac becomes the endoderm, this is called is secondary yolk sac. So the secondary yolk sac present in the th during third week of pregnancy. Um, our next lecture lecture will be formation of notochord and neural tube. Thank you.